D-A-V-I-D-C-H-O-I. Tell us about your relationship with the Flying Line. Well, I was a, a freshman in high school and I was a die-hard Illini fan, so I still to this day uh, remember the starting five, Stephen Bardo, Lowell Hamilton, Nick Anderson, uh, Kendall Gill and Kenny Battle, and then Marcus Liberty coming off the bench. Um, and I think Marcus Liberty, I even went to Chicago Kings, so I remember all these things, and, or maybe it was Simeon. King, you and, said it right. It King, okay. Yep. And uh, I actually just remember this, but when I was in high school, I bowled right next to Kenny Battle uh, at an Aurora bowling alley, and I got a, an autograph of his as well. Uh, but I remember the uh, the March Madness. Obviously, they were riding 27 and two or 29 and two, something like that. And uh, I was just diehard, man. I was diehard. I remember Kenny Battle going up for the shot, uh, and then he had to like scoop it up backwards, and he banked it in, and <laughs> one of the greatest shots I've ever seen in my life. And uh, I was I was confident, man. I had I had the U of I swagger, man. I knew that we were going to win the championship, and so. Obviously, when uh, Ramil Robinson and Glenn Rice and Terry Mills and Sean Higgins, all those guys, Lloyd Bott, they, you know, came back and they uh, they won that game. I was absolutely crushed. Uh, I wasn't the Orange Crush. I was just Orange Crushed. <laughs> and uh, but but to this day, that was by far my favorite team uh, in the history of the Illinois teams. Um, obviously, the uh, Darren Williams and the D Brown guys were were close, but without question, my favorite team was the Flying Illini.